Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I'm all turned around because for some reason this is flip-flopped and mirrored. Whatever. I can't keep track. I can't keep up. I can't keep up with all of the constant changes. How are you guys? Did you survive the weekend? I know a lot of you, including myself, were extremely busy with all kinds of yarny and nitty events between uh, the Knit Camp Retreat, Knit Camp at the Coast, and the Have a Ball Fall Crawl, and our Sunday Zoom for the club. So it was a jam-packed several days for sure. Hi, Heidi. How are you today? Um, I brought some stuff into my office to show you guys today. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to do a prize, but I forgot to bring it in. Maybe Campbell can help me. Maybe Campbell can help me. <laughs> of course she can. Can you bring me the black and white bag from um, the prize box? It's somewhere right by you right now on the floor. Prize box. Some box full of prizes. Black and white bag. Awesome. She's on it. Um, what? Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Um, it's, a, it's fun. It stresses me out and it makes me really nervous, hide but then it. It, and then it ends up being fun. Yes, hide it. Yeah. Secret, secret delivery. All right. <laughs> oh, that's the last video she's going to be on for a while because she leaves for college. What am I going to do? All right. Um, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. I'm seeing all the comments finally come in now all at once. Um, yeah, I'm going to give away a prize today. So stick around. Uh, you just need to be watching and um, interacting in the comments. So I'll ask Julia somewhere down the road here uh, to scroll through all the comments and pick a random winner. And we're going to give away a prize. I'll talk about that in just a second. So um, <laughs> well done, Campbell. Thank you. Yes, Campbell is busy winding yarns for the yarn tasting. For all of you guys who have signed up for the yarn tasting, we are preparing those now. And it is a lot of work. So it'll be um, a lot of work on the winder, but we're going to get it all done. Get it all out to you sometime in October. Um, let's see. I just saw. Yes. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. That wrap is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, we still have a few of those, those kits left. Uh, we've got, I think, six left, five, something like that. So if you missed out on getting that Nutra wrap kit, we still have those. Um, Thank you, Jen. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, so yeah, they are still on the website. You can go to our homepage um, and there's the banner right there and just click fall crawl and you'll go see it. Uh, Sally Campbell's headed to the University of Oregon in Eugene. So close enough that we can um, go visit and she can come home occasionally, not, not often, right? Uh, hopefully we get to go visit. We would like to take uh, Mallory and go down to see a, a, a women's volleyball game because Mal's is playing volleyball this year and really into it. And that would be a fun kind of thing to go do and support Campbell's new team. She's excited. She's got her um, sports pass. She's already planning to go to uh, <laughs> go to the football games. Nydia asked what's behind me. Are you talking about this? Um, this is the stop meshing around shawl that I featured in our crawl presentation. And by the way, well, I guess I'm talking to you guys all on Facebook, so this doesn't matter. But we will have a um, YouTube version of our our presentation that we'll have on our YouTube channel for people who aren't on Facebook. I realize that's not you guys because <laughs> you're on Facebook right now. But uh, we just got that video from the organizers and we'll be uploading it later this afternoon. So this is my shawl that I designed um, this is called Stop Meshing Around. And this is, um, I featured this in the video this weekend. And so we have some kits on our website right now for this very shawl. It's a, it's a fun pattern. It's got, um, it's got a mesh section and then lots of plain garter to relax, right? And then it's got a fun little bump section. And I don't know if you've ever done this bump stitch before or a tuck stitch sometimes. I make it really easy in my pattern. Um, I, I specifically place it where there's a color change. So when it's time to grab 
the pearl bump of the row, like eight rows down, it's really easy to see because it's a color transition. So that's it. That's I'm speaking to the people who have done a tuck stitch before and found it hard to figure out what stitch you're supposed to grab when you do it. So this, this shawl makes it really, really easy. So yeah, it's fun. It's really wearable. It just takes two skeins of fingering and it's great for um, a variegated and a semi-solid because the mesh looks really cool in the variegated yarn. And then, um, you know, your garter, you can do the semi-solid. So thank you, LaDonna. Uh, thank you, Renee. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it is really helpful, um, Mary, to have that. Because I was, I designed a um, scarf way back that's got a tuck stitch in it. And when you can't see where you're supposed to grab on the row, you know, eight rows below, it's not even fun. It's like, it's, it's just fighting your knitting the whole time. So, um, yes, Nydia, the pattern is on Ravelry and it's called Stop Meshing Around. But if you just go to our fall crawl stuff on our website, Nydia, the link to the pattern, I believe, is in the um, product description. But you, yeah, you do get the pattern free with the kit. Since this one I designed, um, I am giving the pattern free with the purchase of the kit that's right now on our website. So yes, you'll get a download. Um, the other one that I designed in our fall crawl is the mitten. And so that one is also a free pattern with purchase. Um, the other two designs that are in our fall crawl stuff, I didn't design those, so I can't give them away for free. So you have to actually go and buy those separately. But instead we gave a discount on the yarn for those. So, you know, it all kind of works out, right? Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie asked if I finished my Nile sweater. Somebody's got a really good memory. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, I, did, I haven't finished it and I haven't worked on it since probably the last time that I showed it to you guys, which would be May? April, May? We're going to do a, a knit along for the Nile sweater and we're going to have Ingrid run the knit along because she's so fantastic. And so um, we are we are we are planning that right now. So um, I'm now I have the excuse that I'm saying I'm just waiting until the knit along to work on my Nile sweater. We'll pretend that's how I planned it. Um, it's not. But whatever. Um does someone have an audio problems? I missed it. Some of the stuff's going by too fast for me to catch, but okay. Well, let me show you really quick some of the new yarn that we got in um, that I didn't have a chance to get out uh, in all of the hullabaloo of the shawl. No, I mean the crawl. <laughs> um, we have the most loveliest new palette of Dream and Color Smooshy. So let me hold some of these up. This is the Smooshy Cashmere, and there's just these beautiful fall colors don't fall. Um, those are kind of the warm colors. And then we have the cool colors. Aren't these beautiful? Yum, yum, yum. It's like, if you haven't started the Casapinka Snarkometer yet, you could put together the coolest four color palette out of this here. Um, I really, really love this color. This is called Petrified Forest. Just absolutely beautiful. I also love skipping stone this is kind of like a deep wine color right now what i'm seeing is like a burnt kind of brown and hopefully you guys are getting the actual color the, the color on this monitor is not great this has got more of a purple tone to it um peachy keen of course gorgeousness yeah so um and then this this is called the edge this is like a little kind of like a blue deep blue violet yeah delicious. So that is the new colors, 10 new colors of Smooshy with Cashmere from Dream and Color. And then we also got a new yarn, also in amazing fall colors. Um, and this is Tosh Work Sock Sport. So this is a really cool sport weight sock yarn. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, but it comes in massive skeins, like 200 gram skeins. Um, so let's see here. How can I hold these up? They're hard to hold because they're so big. Um, look at these guys. 
more deliciousness. I've got uh, William Morris and rye bourbon right here. And then this is Nocturne and Snake. Nocturne is like an inky navy blue. It is so beautiful in person. It kind of sometimes looks black, I think. But um, if you could be here in person, you'd see it was inky navy blue. And then Snake is like a dark blue green. And then we've got Manatee and Rocinante and Saffron. Oops, this isn't William Morris. This is Phantasm. This is a, like a purple. This is William Morris, kind of a uh, brown gray. And there it is next to the purple, so you can see the difference. Um, so sa yeah, Saffron. And then <clears throat> we've got, I love this one. It's called Spooky Stars. And it's like a brown gray with little flecks. I'm trying to get the light right. Little flecks of red, gold, and of course, tart. You can't have a fall palette without tart, right? Tart is just one of the best all-time colors of yarn ever. And then we've got Moonstone, which is a slightly blue-gray, and Sideshow, which is a really beautiful green, kind of mossy green, a little bit of brown in there. So really, really, really fun. So gauge on this, um, they call it Work Sock, sock Sport. And it does knit at a sport gauge, but not like the lighter side of sport, definitely the heavier side of sport, but it, it really does pretty well at DK gauge as well. So it goes all the way up to five stitches to the inch practically. And the kicker is it's a 400 yard skein. It's massive. So 400 yards of sport weight yarn and it's $35. So if you think about Hand dyed yarn at 100 grams is usually, you know, 28 to 30 something. And you're getting 200 grams, 400 yards of sport for 35. So really good deal. So those are the fun new yarns. Time to go find a fun sweater pattern. Actually, I have, um, there, is a, there is a cropped sweater called Party Top um, that I have had my eye on for a long time. And I think it would be really beautiful in the spooky stars color really cute over a dress over a wool and dress maybe so yeah fun stuff right i know cassandra that green that sideshow it is delicious there's just so much going on um it's like so much depth yeah i know lisa signed me up I agree. Becca made the party top. Yeah, she's, and you're wearing it right now? What are the odds? Becca is wearing her party top that she used, one of the yarns, she she um, faded hers and she used work sock sport in it. I can't believe the coincidence there. <laughs> yes, Lindsay sees my afghan. It always just sits on my chair. Um, sometimes it's cold in here, especially in the winter. So it's always here. Um, <laughs> uh, let me check these comments really quick. That is really uncanny that you are wearing it right now. Um, wow. Uh, okay. Hey, Julia. Do you want to do a little bit of scroll, scroll, scroll and pick a random winner? I will show off the prize while you're doing that. And how about you text me? You can't scroll through the comments? Julia texted me. She can't scroll through the comments. Okay, here we go. I can scroll through the comments. I can see all of them. Okay, so I'll show the prize, and then I'm going to close my eyes and do a, a um, scroll and then stop with my mouse. Okay, so this is what we're giving away today. Um, oh, but <laughs> Becca, that's hilarious. <laughs> she, she says she would take a picture to show us all her... Uh, her party top, but she hasn't brushed her hair. Um, okay, so this gorgeous 12 bag, it's a it's like a nice thick kind of canvasy um fabric, and it's made by Knit Tapestry. And it's got a by Nancy Cole, and it's got a great little adjustable uh handle and everything. It's just a perfect little project bag. So we are gonna give this away. So let me put my mouse right here. I've got my mouse over the comments, and now I'm gonna just start scrolling <laughs> and I'm not gonna look. This is such a funny thing to do. Okay, ready? Stop. 
And my mouse is on Cassandra, Cassandra Taluki. Did I get your last name right? Um, Cassandra Taluki, you have won this bag from the tapestry donated by them for the have a ball fall crawl. So yay! <laughs> Congratulations. If you can just shoot us an email at customer service and not another hat.com and just say, hi, I'm Cassandra. I won the bag today with your um, mailing address and we will get this shipped right out to you. So woo -hoo, woo -hoo. awesome. Congratulations, Cassandra. I'll scroll back down now so I can see the most recent comments. Woo! Yes. Um, we're going to keep giving away prizes throughout the rest of this week and the weekend. So um, stay tuned. We'll do some on Instagram. We'll do another one. Oh, I'm not going to have a Friday lunch chat. Come back to that. We'll do another one over the weekend, etc. So, you know, just stay tuned. We've got a lot more goodies to give away from our generous, very generous sponsors. So, um, all right. Yeah, so this weekend, Friday, I'm not going to have a lunch chat Friday because I will be in Eugene taking Campbell to school. So uh, you'll all have to just make it all the way through the week and through the weekend without me. I know it's going to be hard, but just, you know, hang in there and just knit so you don't get too sad. <laughs> but the bag was just donated, but you can go to Knit Tapestry. I'm going to type that name here because I know hearing it out loud is a little bit weird. I just added the name um, of the company that makes these in the crawl. I mean, in the chat. <laughs> and here's the website. www.nittapestry.com. All right. I just put those into the chat. So that is uh, where you can find the bag that I was just showing off that was so generated, so generously donated by Nancy. Yeah, super awesome sponsors. They're just so generous. When you think about the fact that these prizes we're giving away, they sent 36 of them. So one for every shop to give away. So 36 bags, 36 of the things I gave away on Saturday. I mean, yeah, Saturday Live. Beyond generous. So, woohoo! <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> She's blowing her nose and wiping away the tears because <laughs> I won't be here Friday. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, I'm going to send you on into your week and I hope you have a lovely um, end of September-ish time. This is the best time of the year. It's my favorite time of the year. So enjoy it. Do some knitting outside or something fun. And I will catch you guys in seven days back here. Same time, same place. Ciao.